touchscreen operations. On the home menu, you can find icons for auto-tune, balance status, follow mode, and follow speed. On the top status bar, you can check the user profile and battery level. Tap the auto-tune icon. Tap start calibration, and the gimbal will start auto calibration. You can also press and hold the M button and the trigger simultaneously to begin auto-tune. Place DJI RS3 Mini on a flat, steady surface. Do not move the gimbal during auto-tune. It is normal for the gimbal to shake or make sounds during auto-tune. In the stiffness page, you can adjust the motor stiffness of the three axes respectively. It is recommended to use the default values after auto-tune. Tap the balance status icon. If progress bars of all three axes are green, the balance is good. Yellow indicates that the gimbal's balance is slightly off. Red indicates that the gimbal is poorly balanced. In case of yellow or red progress bars, it is recommended to rebalance the gimbal. Tap the follow mode icon. You can switch between PF, PTF, FPV, custom, and 3D roll 360. Tap the follow speed icon. You can set the follow speed to slow, medium, fast, and custom. Swipe down from the top of the home menu to enter the control center. Tap the screen lock icon to lock the touch screen to prevent accidental touches. Tap and swipe up to unlock. Tap the Bluetooth icon to connect to a camera via Bluetooth. After successful connection, the icon will turn blue. Tap the silent mode icon to turn off notification sounds. Tap the settings icon to enter the settings page. Disable selfie. If disabled, selfie mode will not be entered after the trigger is pressed three times. Orbit follow. Once enabled, when shooting while circling a subject, the gimbal will deliver smoother movement. Push mode. Once enabled, you can manually adjust the tilt and pan axes. When the gimbal is unlevel and cannot be restored after double pressing the trigger, you can choose horizontal calibration or manual fine tuning. Tap Gimbal Auto Check, and the gimbal will analyze and output its hardware status information. Tap to restore the gimbal parameters, such as joystick and follow parameters, and Bluetooth password to default settings. Tap Language to choose the on-screen language from 11 different languages such as Simplified Chinese, Traditional Chinese, English, etc. Device Info. Tap to view device information, such as device SN, device name, and password. Firmware Version. Tap to view the firmware version of the gimbal. Compliance Info. Tap to view compliance information. Swipe up from the bottom of the home menu to enter the gimbal settings page. Tap joystick speed to set the speed of the joystick. The larger the value, the faster the joystick speed. Tap joystick smoothness to set the smoothness of the joystick. A larger value will offer smoother joystick movements, as well as smoother stops after the joystick is released. Tap Dial Functions to set the front dial to control different functions such as focus and zoom. Tap Dial Speed to set the response speed, smoothness, and direction of the front dial. 